Parshas Vayera Hamishi. After Yitzchak's bris, the Torah teaches us that Yitzchak's getting a little bit older and he starts playing with his older brother Yishmael, who is the son of Avram's maidservant Hagar. And Sarah didn't like the fact that Yishmael was teaching Yitzchak things that she thought was inappropriate for Yitzchak to learn. And Sarah says to Avram, get rid of this child, get rid of this maidservant, I don't want them in the house, they're going to influence Yitzchak in an incorrect way. And Avram didn't know what to do, he, it, it bothered him. And he was, what do I do? He's my son, I want to keep him here, I'm not, I don't want to throw him out. And Hashem speaks to Avram and he says, don't worry, you ha- listen, listen to what Sarah says, because Yitzchak is your child, that from him, the nation of Kal Yisrael, the nation of Israel is going to be built. And don't worry, from Yishmael also, a great nation will arise. And Avram sends out Yishmael and Hagar, and they head into the Midbar, they head into the desert, and Yishmael is very thirsty, and he's dying from thirst, and his mother is crying. She sees him, she sees him deteriorating. And Hashem sends water, shows, shows Hagar where there's water, and she gets water, gathers water, because Hashem saw that at that moment Yishmael was a tzaddik, even though in the future he might, as Rashi said, hurt Kalal Yisrael, hurt the nation of Israel. At that moment, he was uh, at a point where he was considered someone worthy of staying alive. He stays alive. He lives with his mother in the desert, learns to be an archer, and his mother finds him a woman to marry from the land of Egypt. Mm-hmm.